Well, we should be in for a night of drama here at the home of Manchester City. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And it's the Champions League round of 16 second leg. It is Manchester City facing Braga. Well, Derek, this could go either way. It was a fairly even first game, but if City can get that early goal, they should be able to control the game here. Options in the middle. And Kai Havertz. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Yates. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, he's certainly the player to watch because his goal tally's been excellent this season. He's been a constant threat whenever he gets on the ball. His movement's been good as well. I think he'll add to his tally today, and he'll put in a really good performance. It might be on for them. Opportunity here. Ferran Torres. Well, it could be on for him here. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Has someone to play it to. Blocking it. Real chance. And it's come off the keeper. Diallo with it here. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Crucial interception amid impending danger. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. What an incredible save. Now, hold save. on, Stuart. They're in here. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. On aggregate, it's three goals to one. Ryan Yates. Well, they keep the ball moving. He's in control of the situation. How can he take them on and beat them? And the cross into the middle. Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. And he's fired over the corner. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So on aggregate, it stands at 3-2. The stadium is a family-friendly environment, and only soft drinks can be taken down to your seats. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? He has time to play it over. Josh Da Silva. Is this the moment? Oh dear, oh dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. You don't get too many better than that. The high press was very much on. Will he finish? And what a magical save it was. Who can they pick out? Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Da Silva. Big chance. Oh, magnificent. 
magnificent reaction. Havertz. Foden. And possibilities here. And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Goals galore on aggregate. 4-2 is the lead. Ryan Yates. Moving the ball effectively. Takes aim. Real defensive resilience. And they have possession again. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? All hands on deck. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pacing transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and it's a very tidy finish, because there's still a lot of work to do. That's a really good goal. The aggregate lead they have stands at five goals to two. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. And the substitution will occur now. So the Champions League round of 16, second leg. The second half is underway. He's going forward well here. Shielding the ball superbly. Will it be? The net is steering him in the face. And running through to the keeper. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Manchester City taking on Newcastle United. Well, that's a well-timed pass. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. And he read it well. Running with the ball confidently. A spot on with that challenge. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Anthony. It needs an accurate cross. Happy to take on the shot. And it goes! Well, it's one goal after another. A highly impressive performance. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, good accuracy, and enough power to beat the keeper. That's an excellent goal. On aggregate, it is 6-2. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Diallo with it here. And options in the centre. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner.
Who can he pick out? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Difficult to stop him. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Torres. Yates. Karim Rekic. Playing with purpose and control. Able to get a body in the way. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. City couldn't keep it. Firing it towards goal. And still a chance. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save, and then the recovery. Ball's gone. He's in with a chance. Couldn't quite hang on. And thumped away. Going well. Takes aim. Defending by example. Well, that's the end of that for now. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Very quick thinking there. Da Silva. Decent position. Good looking ball. Well, the shot had just a bit too much elevation. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Kai Havertz. Well, nicely cut out. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Interception to snuff out the danger. This might be ideal for the counter. Now potential danger. Havertz. Now he must favour the cross. Gives it a go. Touched on to the woodwork. No nonsense clearance. No more time left. The referee says that will do it. And it's Manchester City who go marching on. Well, they were better than their opponents in nearly every aspect of the game. They were more organised, they were tactically superior, and they played with such energy. They'll certainly...